What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make a simple weapon back holster. Basically, it's going to be very, very subtle. You can use whatever type of weapon you want, like firearms, like a rifle or melee weapon, such as a sword. So you can use whatever type of weapon you want. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need, of course, is our weapon itself. Uh, in our case, I'm going to be using this uh, free marketplace asset, which is the FPS weapon bundle. So I'll be linking in the description just in case you want to go ahead and use it yourself. And uh, for example, you can see the cool weapon that it has, the quality is pretty great. So, you know, it's totally free. So I'll just leave this in the description in case you want to use it. Uh, of course, you can use whatever type of weapon you want. But now, what we have to do, once you have the weapons that you want to equip, of course, is going into the character skeleton mesh. Let's go into character, mannequins, meshes, and then open up our SK mannequin skeleton. Now, of course, if you're using your own character, you will be using uh, on opening your own character skeleton. Okay, so now here, what we have to do is create a socket. And a socket is basically just a position in a bone, so later on, we can just put it directly into our mesh and it will just work fine. Uh, so what to do is basically find some of the bones which we want to place it. In our case, uh, probably as you can see, uh, bone five will work better because this is kind of the area that we want to touch our weapon. It's gonna be like holster over here. So what we're gonna have to do is right click on the bone that we want and say add socket. And now it will create a new socket. So now what we want to do is just rename this. So this will be like weapon underscore back uh, holster something like that and now what we're going to do is with this selected just uh, right click go to add preview asset and now i can search my weapon uh, in my case i don't remember which one it was let me go ahead and quickly just search it so it was this one basically here four and it's basically this one there we go great so now you will see that the uh, weapon will appear and we'll have to do is now select the parent socket, okay? Not the bone, remember, it will always be the socket that we have just created. And now it just is just the, you can see, <laughs> what happens if you move the uh, the bone itself. So select the socket itself, and then move the weapon into the position that you want. And from here, it's pretty much just playing with the, with the position to get something that you like. So in my case, I'm gonna just be placing this over here kind of like this in his back um real quick like this of course i'm going to do it real quick but if you were to spend more time you could get a you know a better result but i think that that will pretty much work for me as you can see um so i'm gonna just place it like this kind of cross it into his back and really you can just customize as you want if you want to have two weapons you can create two sockets and put one here one here you know it will depend um so there we go now the thing i'm gonna mention is that if you want to see all this uh implemented in a equipment system and so on you can check that in my rpg series so i'll be linking in the description just in case you want to check it out so you can see the whole equipment system and so on and how we we'll integrate this into an actual you know pickup system and thing inventory uh, so if you want to check it out yeah link in the description anyway so now that we have our weapon in the back with the position that we want you can just save and close it we don't have to get rid of this preview it's just you know to be when we edit our skeleton now and when we press play you will see that it will not appear so now we get into the next part we're just basically going ahead and putting this weapon in our pack uh, so to do this what we want to do is open our third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using and let's go into the mesh and just add a new static mesh or skeleton mesh if your mesh is a skeleton mesh uh, in my case is this one so let me just say rifle and then what to do is just select the second match over here i think it was ar4 uh which was not sm yes i think it was sm maybe sk it was sk oh okay see uh <laughs> i was using a skeleton mesh so you have to ha have that things in mind if it's a skeleton mesh or um a static mesh uh, so now we can just select this and now you will see that the weapon will be right in the center of the character or whatever it is make sure that we reset the values into okay except this go to one or whatever uh, now what we want to do is basically apply it into the socket that we created earlier so what to do is go into parent socket then we can switch here all these sockets in our case we'll have the weapon back holster and now you can see that when i place it it will be directly apply it into that position i wouldn't have to do anything more over here uh, you can put collisions or not if you want but that's pretty much it and now i press play you can see that uh, you know it's in his back and it will follow all the animations and cool stuff 
Now maybe it's a bit in into his body. This is because in here is Manny instead of a queen. Uh, so it's as simple as going into characters, mannequins, meshes, open this up and just adjusting a bit the socket again you know, to be a bit more into this. Um, it's just playing around with the settings so you get what you want. Uh, but you have that in mind, maybe use different uh, characters, the position might change a bit. Um, but that's pretty much it. So, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I would really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check me out. Go ahead and join my Discord server, the link in the description, and follow me on all my socials, the Twitter and Instagram. Now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.